Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. Today's video, guys, we're going to be kind of repairing this Queen knife here. It's Queen Electrician's knife. It's from the 70s. As you can tell, you can't access the uh, the nail nick on the uh, flat tip screwdriver there. It's very hard to get. I have to use a screwdriver. I have another one over here just like it that I can get it. But what the problem is, I noticed... Let me open it up first. This knife's in great shape. It just needs to be cleaned up. But you see here, that right there hasn't been uh, sanded down enough. I'll show you what I'm talking about here. See that right there? This right here needs to be sanded down some more to be able to access the nail net. You see, there's, there's the metal right here. The metal, that right there is up too far. So this has to be sanded down some. So we're going to be doing that and cleaning it up. You see it's got surface rust all over it, but that ain't no problem. Uh, it's even got letters right here etched into the handle. I'm not going to be able to do much with it. I can sand it some to get a little bit of it off, but that's just always going to be remain there, guys, because um, there ain't really much sand, and it's, they're pretty deep, but we're going to try our best. To make it as smooth as we can um we're gonna try to sand that down some get it black again but it's gonna be a great knife when we're done i just bought this over in lynette alabama at uh at that flea market or not flea market the antique mall huge huge store that me and glenn went to again guys y'all please keep mr glenn uh, in your prayers, he's doing some uh, treatments, so uh, y'all be 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 praying for him. I appreciate it, but uh, he's he's gonna be be gone for a little while. Uh, and I hope this helps. I really do. I hope and pray it helps. And uh, we're also gonna be opening up another box, guys, from. Uh, Sailorsburg, Pennsylvania. Sure, we're gonna be opening that box up. So we got a uh, quite a bit to do in the video, but we're gonna get it done. We sure are. We're gonna start on this one, then we're gonna take a break. We're gonna open that box, and then we're gonna finish up with this uh, electrician's night. And guys, I'm having to run to AC. It is now eight o'clock at night, and it's still hot so hot it looks like uh it was rain north of us right now i don't think we're gonna get a drop i think it's just some afternoon evening showers and it's moving north or, or moving east it's right north of us and it's moving east so we ain't gonna be able to get none but uh anyway guys thank y'all for tuning in today and i hope you enjoy the video okay guys again we're gonna be cleaning this up and the blades up on my three inch bench grinder with a fiber wheel here. It's just like an SOS pad. Buy them at Harbor Freight, guys, Harbor Freight. Uh, but the, the biggest thing on this knife is, guys, I'll explain it to you again. See, I cannot access the screwdriver here with my, the nail nick on that screwdriver, mainly because this was not sanded down enough. It actually come that way from the factory. Um, but other than that, it's a great knife. I, I was going to take this thing apart and make it a single blade knife, but I realized I thought something was wrong with the blade, but I, I'm like, it snaps good and everything else is good. It's just sitting down too far, but I realized that that ain't sanded down enough. So once I get it cleaned up, I'm going to take my Dremel tool and just sand that down right there. That way you'll be able to access that nail nick. It's going to be a great knife when I'm done.
Hey guys, I opened up my little Dremel tonight. I've had it for about two years now. What I'm gonna do is take this little sander here, sanding wheel, I'm gonna hit that right there. You see how far down the metal is, and it's just not exposing that nail nick right there enough to grab it. Let me demonstrate it one more time. See that right there? The nail nick is way down there. I can't really grab it. Got to have some long nails to do it, and then you might break your nail because the springs are so strong. But anyway, we're fitting to alleviate that problem. Put it on number two. Well, there's a half stop. Did y'all see that? Let's see, you can see the nail nick now. See that? I'm going to take down just a little bit more. See, it's exposed now, see? See that? Pretty cool, ain't it? See that right there? Now you can grab it. Hoorah. I was about to take that thing apart too. Now I'm gonna get the 400 grit and sand it smooth right there. See, I like to move that knife up to push that spring out so I can get right down the side so I can get right down the side of the spring to get all that, that surface rust off of it. That helps tremendously with the snap. See, when a knife has half stop, the spring goes back up inside there. You can't do it. I usually just lift them straight up when, when they don't have half stop and the spring will be out still. But you either got to move it down some more, but I wouldn't do that because it could close on your finger like that. I'd do it like this, and it pokes that spring out, and you get down the side of them. See all that surface rust right there, along the sides, all down in there.
<laughs> Did you hear that? Whoa. That queen don't play now when it comes to snap. You gotta work this one a little bit. I think one reason why this one got such good snap because it wasn't used that much because they couldn't access it good just gonna let that plastic handle just soak that oil in there help give it its color back Guys, about to hit it with some Neville Doll now. Get some shine, we'll get a new piece. And now we're going to hit it with some flits. This thing's cleaning up really good, guys. It's going to look good, and it's going to show its age a little bit. That's what we want. It ain't a new knife. Again, guys, sometimes you just have to let a old knife just be an old knife. And now, guys, we're going to take a little break and open up the one, the package, all the way from Pennsylvania. And that will be from, from Emma Williamson from Sailorsburg, Pennsylvania. Hoorah. Dear the Knife Doctor, hi, my name is Emma, and I am 11 years old. Wow. Me and my dad love to watch your videos and get in inspiration. We started to collect knives, and about two to four weeks ago, we started collecting. In the package is a few knives and some handle ma making material. The knife label CFOR parts. Oh, <laughs> the knife labeled for parts is for parts, and everything else is for you or auctions. Sheath knife. Love Emma and Mike Williamson. Well, Emma, thank you for writing the letter and tell your dad thank you so much for uh, uh, for allowing you to write this. I really love this. I'll keep this forever. I love that uh, drawing you got right here. That's awesome. And it's Emma and Mike, is it? Yep. Emma and Mike. Well, Emma and Mike, thank you all so much for all this. And this is a Winchester. This will definitely be going into the auction. Maybe not this auction on August 5th, but will be one that's coming up. Thank you so much for this. Love it. This is the handle making material. Wow. Never heard of that before. Lignum Vitae. And I'm probably... I'm butchering how you say that. <laughs> but that is some beautiful wood, y'all. Check out that wood. Ain't that awesome? Look at the grain in that. Wow. Love it. And Emma and Mike, thank y'all so much for that. And this is my Carter, y'all. Beautiful. It's kind of like canvas. I love the way that feels. 
beautiful y'all thank y'all so much for this let's see what we got in here now this is the dragonfly 2 spider co i love it Look at this, y'all. Wow. Bunch of knives. Go and get this out of here. Check that out, y'all. Broken blade. It's a Gerber right here. It's a very nice knife. This should go in the auction, too, y'all. Yes, sir. Ain't nothing wrong with that knife. Line a lot. Pocket clip. You got thumb studs right there. I like to flick it out like that. It needs to be oiled some. You can also open it like that. You got a serrated edge and a regular blade. Very cool. I love that. And this is an easy out Gerber, a USA made. Needs to be cleaned up and oiled. That right there, Gerber USA. It's an easy Portland, Oregon, but it's an easy out. I'll clean this one up and get it in the next auction, not the August 5th one. Beautiful knife. This looks like the, uh, I'm gonna say, Colonial. It's either that or Imperial, but I think it's a Colonial. No, I'm saying Imperial. Look at there. This is a nice knife, too. This be cleaned up. And this is going to go in the auction. Look at that big old spade blade. It's a punch blade. That's a corkscrew, of course. You got your can opener, flat tip screwdriver, bottle opener, and you got your regular blade. But this is a hawk bill or a pruning knife right there. See there? And this is like a spay blade very nice that's very nice now this one's an old one right here now chrome plate and it's a sword brand a camillus y'all yes it's a sword brand camillus here it is Hard to see it right here. It says Camillus. That's a four line. Uh, the four line, guys. I can't remember. It'll be right here. The four line. I think it's from like uh, 1930 to 1946, I'm going to say. But this is a very cool knife. I think the main blade has been worked on some. That might be the shape of it. I don't know. I know it's razor sharp. That might be the shape of it. Very cool. Very cool knife. Oh. This looks like a Zippo. It is a Zippo. I'm keeping it. I love my Zippo knives, guys. Very cool. This is an old one. Very cool. That's brass plated, I think, or it could be solid brass. This looks like a little, I don't know, plain. No maker's mark there. Lock's good, though. Very nice knife. Yeah, shred. Tough chip. Wow. Check this out. Tough chip. That's cool, man. I don't have a pair of these. I 
That's nice. Very nice. These will be in the auction as well. That's awesome. This one here, Magnum. Very cool. I'll put this in the auction as well. Now watch this broken blade here. It's a Gerber. Oh, a Cricket. CRKT. see guys it's a lot like this you actually got to mash that thumb stud down never seen one like this thin up wow that thing is bad now look at that serrated edge right there never seen anything like this wow u.s patent number man Wow, that's something, ain't it? So I come from the top down, it looks something like that. I don't think I lose any blade length. I lose blade height. This is a bad knife now. You won't be able to really tell it because that's blocking it right there. If I come from the top down, that's, that's what it's going to look like right there. I think it'll look better though if I come from the bottom up. I have to reshape that blade. I think we can do it. That's a nice knife. Very nice knife. So this one's for parts. Camillus? On Craftsman. Wow. Yeah. A nice part knife, though. It really is. Well, Emma and Mike, thank y'all so much for all this stuff. Emma, you made a nice drawing right there. I love that right there. It's a good-looking knife. Somebody needs to design that. That's very cool. But thank you again, Emma and Mike, for all this stuff. I'll definitely be cleaning some of this up, for not for this next auction, but the, the next one probably sometime in September, around September the 11th. So, uh, and I'll definitely be working on this one real soon. Can't wait. Em and Mike sent all those knives and gifts all the way from Sailorsburg, Pennsylvania. 953 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. Em and Mike, thank y'all so much for those knives and gifts. Appreciate y'all support the channel. God bless y'all. Okay guys, here it is. The uh, Queen Electrician's Knife. You remember it was, uh, that needed to be sanded down so you can access the screwdriver here. You see it's pitted right there. It's clean though. Clean on the inside. See right there? See how pitted it is right there? got a half stop Wow hear that very cool cleaned up real good though but somehow there's numbers etched in this but the color come back real good I sanded it down I hand sanded it and it come real it's real nice it really is
Matter of fact, I didn't sharpen this blade. It's pretty dang sharp though. I'm just gonna hit it with a 200 grit right here. Again, this is angled at 20 degrees. And you just simply, and you just simply slide the blade across five or six times. Then you got yourself a razor sharp blade, man. Yeah, if y'all don't have y'all one of these guys, this is the best field sharpener. It's even got a, a lanyard hole, guys. You can just put this in your backpack to keep your knife sharp, I'm telling you. But it's a nice, very nice sharpener. I love it. Very nice. Man, that thing is razor sharp. See that edge? Beautiful ink, guys. I paid $10 for it. And again, I had to sand that down to the metal because I guess it didn't do it from the factory, but now you can access it, see? Great knife. 10 bucks. Can't beat it. And the lock does work. Works good, too. Mm, mm, mm. Beautiful knife, guys. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. Guys, I can't say it enough. I know I say it every time. <laughs> but I love it, guys. I love cleaning up these old knives. I really do. And you can see it's got some pitting still. See that in the blade? But you know what? That's the personality of the knife. Gives it character. And it's also got some etching some letters are etched in the handle right there can't really do much about that you could try to sand it on down but if you do that it's gonna make a big in indention in the handle you might as well just let it let it have its character and move on just give it clean it up the best you can but and just sometimes you just gotta let an old knife be an old knife you really do beautiful beautiful knife it's battle scars is what i like to call it beautiful knife and i just want to thank emma and mike emma is uh mike's daughter she's 11 she actually wrote the letter and uh they sent all that great stuff in i just want to thank y'all so much again and guys um uh, i just want to say thank y'all for all the views all the subscribers thank y'all so much i appreciate it i really do and guys i just want to say thank y'all for tuning in today i want to say god bless y'all until we meet again, guys, y'all be like a good night. Stay sharp. I'm the knife doctor on the road, saving old blades. So many stories told. USA made, fixing those springs, handles repair, they shine and they sing. Three markets, pawn shops, antique stores, searching for treasure, always room for more.